Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to another ramble. I was going to make another video regarding fear. I know I've made videos on fear before, but it's so nice to just like talk about it. You know, I feel like, um, I think there's a saying something about, you know, you should do at least one thing a day that you're afraid of. I absolutely subscribe to that. Um, I feel like <laughs> I've, in previous videos, I've made videos on fear and I feel like the response that most people get to fear is to like freeze or flight F or um, there's another way that people deal with fear. <laughs> the way that, but I think the more common type is to like freeze or to like flee. <laughs> but the thing is, when you do these things, you never grow. You just kind of stay in place. You know, like for me, I think I've stated in previous videos when I'm afraid of something, I actually get excited because I know that transformation is around the corner. You know, it's just like, okay, something has presented itself to me. I am absolutely afraid. Um, and like sometimes I might even kind of retract a little, but then I use that as almost like, um, the point where you're like a spring or an arrow where you're gonna like you're about to like fly forward and towards the fear yes and for me it's sorry <laughs> I, have a, I have a tendency to fiddle and stuff i don't know why but um maybe it's my nerves but i have a tendency to like i don't know <laughs> for me it's like do things that i'm afraid of um, and I think what propels me is my curiosity and also like, yeah, I just want to know what's going to happen. You know, I might, I might fail, but I might also like learn something extraordinary, you know, extraordinary where it'll like push me into like a whole new, like, I want to say level of awareness, you know, and what's more exciting than that, <laughs> you know? So yeah, feel the fear, do it anyway, and try to do at least one thing a day that, that makes you afraid. I feel like the more you do it, it's like anything, you know, it's like the more you like work something or you practice something, then it kind of loses its grip on you and then it becomes easier, you know? So like, um, I don't know, like people are afraid to like try new things. Not me. I'm like, I'm for it. You know, just, just surely out of, um, to fulfill my curiosity, you know, like, I don't know, like so it can be extreme, you know, some people like, for instance, they're like, they're like, um, say like they go to a restaurant and there's a new item on the menu. They're like, oh, I don't want to try that. You know, I might not like it. And I'm just going to stick to what's familiar because, you know, I already know the end result to that. You know, for me, I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't tried that yet. I want to try it just to try it, you know? Um, of course, I don't know. I feel like this just kind of, for me anyway, falls into the arena of, it's weird. Like with relationships, like as far as like <laughs> acquiring more people in my inner circle I probably don't do that I'm very selective I'm very picky I'm very particular just because I know that you know depending on who you allow into your inner sanctum that could wreak chaos on your like well-being in your life but as far as like life experiences like different foods and different sceneries and different like activities like um creating something or like I don't know just stuff like that I'm like 1000% in I love it you know like for instance a good example like jumping out of a plane most people won't do it right but I was like I want to jump out of this plane just to like experience it and see how it is and I don't know I don't really I'm not gonna go down that road <laughs> as to like why I do the things I do but um yeah, just doing things that make you afraid is absolutely freeing. It's when you're like, you keep yourself in place and you don't do anything. I think that's when you get stagnant and stuck, you know? Um, yeah, if you want to 
like new jobs, you know, new, new things, new foods, new, new stuff. Oh yeah. And when it comes to like accumulating more things, that's probably where I, I won't do that too. You know, like I, cause I'm trying to be more of a minimalist. I, I want less things around me. So like, like I know most people like they subscribe to like consumerism and they'll just like buy like a whole bunch of stuff they really don't need just to like have them and experience them like I'm not into that yeah so friends and material attainment I'm kind of not into it like I'll buy something if it's practical and useful you know and if it serves a purpose I'm not just gonna like buy a bunch of stuff just to buy it you know what I'm saying um, what else was I going to say on this? Oh, <laughs> I feel like the number one thing that people are afraid of is rejection. And let me tell you how I deal with it. So like when it comes to rejection, dude, I don't even care. <laughs> I feel like re rejection, I feel like you've heard this before. Rejection is God's protection. Rejection is redirection. Um, rejection for self-reflection. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I think about rejection, you know, and I just feel like, you know, you may not be everyone's cup of tea and they certainly don't have to drink and it's not personal. It's not personal. And like I said, I feel like people have expectations in their head, you know, and that kind of prevents them from like, I'm like, doing things that they're afraid of because they're like I don't want to be rejected you know it's gonna like it's gonna absolutely decimate my ego and I don't like that feeling and for me I'm just like dude I don't even care if people reject me I've been rejected for most of my life so it's kind of like fear you know it's just like when you encounter something over and over and over and over oh my gosh you're like hmm I want to say your, <laughs> your ability to deal with these things are like pretty simple, you know? So like for me, like rejection, I just, I don't know, like seriously, I don't care. Like if somebody, like for instance, if I apply for like jobs and they reject me, I don't really get bummed about it. I just take it as like, oh, okay, I guess I wasn't the right fit. And the universe is probably steering me towards something that is a better fit you know same with like relationships same with like things just not working out things just falling apart I just kind of look at that and go okay and then I just move on <laughs> yeah yeah I don't know if everybody else operates the same way or in a similar way but seriously like when I see people get like butthurt about rejection I don't know, like, there's a part of me, and like I said, I think we are multifaceted beings, so yeah, there's a part of me that might feel, like, sad for them, but then there's also a part of me that is so, like, well-versed in the subject matter that I'm just like, hmm. you know, like, rejection is redirection. There's probably something better out there for you, you know? This probably wasn't it, you know? Like, and by you taking it personally, you're inflicting a lot of harm on yourself emotionally and mentally when, you know, it just isn't it. Like, I had this one situation where, like, okay, this is, like, a stupid story, but I feel inclined to tell you. So this one person needed, like, plumbing work done on their house. And, like, I guess they were accustomed to going through a certain contractor or whatever. And when they called the contractor, I guess the secretary was being really rude and like, I don't know, not really, um, how do I say? <laughs> Whatever. The, the, the secretary was giving off this like strange vibe that wasn't like aligning with what my friend wanted. And my friend hung up the phone and was super upset about it. Like, oh, the secretary was, like, so rude and, you know, all they want is money. You know, they don't care about, like, helping people. And I, like, kind of, like, sat there on the side like I normally do. Like, 
And then like my friend was getting mad that I wasn't like taking her side or taking her stance or like, you know, defending her. And I have I have tendencies to do that. People expect me to like like just automatically like be like I don't know, like <laughs> taking their stance on things and feeding their and fueling their emotional like situation. And I don't. And they don't like that. Have you noticed that? Like for me, because I can see so many angles to a situation, like for me, a lot of times I'm like, this doesn't require my emotional reaction or response, you know, but people don't like that. They want you to like fuel their drama. And then like, yeah, like, <laughs> and then I can feel the feelings, right? So I could feel like she was getting offended that I wasn't like fueling her drama. And, um... I like, I like, <laughs> I, I brought it up. I'm like, I can sense that you're like upset that I'm not like participating in or like supporting your um, current experience. And they're like, yeah, I mean, you, sh I mean, why aren't you upset? And I'm like, I don't know. Like for me, I would just be like, okay, that's not working out for me. I, I'll just go find another plumber. Like, I wouldn't get so overly emotionally invested in somebody mistreating me because, one, I don't take things personally. Two, rejection is redirection. Um, three, I accept things. I radically accept things as it is, as it presents itself in the moment, you know? And I just probably would just call someone else. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. Um... And yeah, I don't have like um, attachment to outcome and I don't have expectations. So like for me, like I just wouldn't really fuel that situation emotionally because I need that. I need that fuel for myself. <laughs> no, but people get so ticked off when you don't take their side. And like for me, I don't take people's sides because I can see like different angles of the story and then I also can sense what requires my energy and what doesn't you know if it's if it doesn't make if it's nonsense I just or dramatic I just don't really feed it anymore I like I said the version of me 10 years ago probably would have fueled that just because I was seeking acceptance you know and stuff but now I'm just like dude I don't even care if people accept me but the most important thing is I accept myself, that you accept yourself because you are the most important person. You know what I mean? Especially if you've been a people pleaser your most life and you've been like just overly giving and overly extending and putting your needs last, you know, especially if you've been doing that for most of your life, it's time to put yourself first, you know? It's time to realize and recognize what's worth your attention and time. And if it's not, then just... <laughs> That's what I've been doing, dude. It's so fun. Anyways, I hope you learned something. Thank you for stopping by. And blessings to one and all. Amen.